Alright guys, I'm going to start this video by saying, if you guys have done this, let me know. Send it to me on Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Uh, tell me you upload it to your own channel and say to you, say to me, you've got it on your channel. I'll go watch it and I'll fully react to it and give you guys a shout out if it's possible. But um, yeah, I mean, still the fact that you can't get a body TKO from a single leg or a double leg is ridiculous. Because like I said at the end of the video, if i done it, I think i generally die. I think my body would just implode in itself and i just turn to dust. But uh, enjoy the video guys. And yeah, catch you guys in the next one. Enjoy. What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video, and we are on UFC 4, and one of my videos that's been quite popular since UFC 4 has dropped is, can you get a slam knockout, and it was impossible for, seems to be at the time, people are now saying to me that it is indeed possible, and now with Brock Lesnar coming out, I thought we would give it a go of him, uh, I got this comment saying that it is possible with head damage. I assume Brock Lesnar has the slams. I haven't even bothered checking his top moves. I just assumed he does because it's Brock Lesnar. Uh, it's Brocktober, as they've called it. So I thought, fuck it. Let's just do it. Let's give it a go. And uh, we're going to try with head damage and with body damage. Let's see if we can get the slam KO. Uh, I'm not too fussed about actually using Brock. What's this? Iron chin. Oh, okay. Oh, all right, Brock. All right. Let's do this. So, we want to go straight for the head damage. One thing I'm going to need to do quickly. We're just going to beat his head up a little bit at the start here. I don't know what kind of chin I'm expecting with Brock, but... Oh, Alistair, get off me, you absolute lesbian. It's fine. It's fine. He won't get this. He won't get this. There we go. But apparently it's possible with head damage, even though it hurts their body there. But we're going to give it a go. There we go. It hurt his head there. Sometimes playing the computer is like playing the way in UFC 4 was first out. They just fucking, they just clinch so much. Get off. We're going to try this one with the head damage as well. Oh, whatever. Alistair should have a weak ass chin, but he doesn't seem to. There we go. No, no, get off. All right, we're beating him up now. Now we're beating him up. Now we're... Now we're beating him up. There we go. Alright. Now he seems pretty hurt. Okay. No. Nothing there. Alright. Alright. We're not going to throw any overhands here. And he's out. Alright. We're going to try again. We're just going to keep going. We're just going to try again. So the tactic this time... Is a few body shots and straight and straight to uh and straight to the slams. That's, that's the tactic this time. Because you know, like it does insane damage to the body, the slams. So we're gonna go straight for him here. We're just gonna go straight for him. Up with that single leg, let's put him into the middle of the K. There we go. Let's land a few big knees to the side. Get up. And let's. Oh, just gonna keep throwing overhands. That's fine. Pick him up and slam him down. We're gonna have to see. We're gonna do one more after this, where we where we do go the head damage the head damage route again. Because uh, it's a little bit longer winded. So I thought we'd just try with the body damage here. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't want to beat him up. I don't want to beat him up. That's all right. That's fine. He's fine. He's fine. There we go. Let's put him into the uh, center of the cage. And slam him down. If this doesn't work, we'll, uh, we'll beat up his head just in, in this one. Because he's going to be weak regardless. Because obviously of the, the body damage he has taken. We'll see how this first round goes, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. And then uh, I want to see if that comment I got was absolute bullshit, because they said you can do it now with head damage. I just want to try a little bit with body damage here. There we go. Here we go. Nope, seems like that is impossible. So we're gonna go for the head damage now here. go. 
All right, we're going with head damage this time because that was the comment that was said. He's got to make sure we don't knock him out. That's that's the problem. That's the only issue with this. You just you've got to make sure you don't knock them out. And being the fact that he's been dropped f four times already is a bit worrying. And it wouldn't be realistic if it was just the German suplex one. I get a lot of people saying that it has to be the suplex one. That wouldn't be realistic because there's been many, there's been many, many knockouts, slam ways in not just German suplex. Here we go. Low, low head health. Slam him down. No. doesn't affect his he his head in any way when you uh when you actually slam him if you watch the head health doesn't even be become affected even slightly and there was no comment in among that person's comment that said it had to be any suplex in particular and if it, I, I've told you guys before, if you do it, I will react to it and I will give you guys a full shout out. And if, it, if you do it properly, and I will give you guys a full shout out and I will fully want to see it. Oh my god, what the fuck has happened there? Alright, so we made it actually out of, the, out of the first round this time. Lots of slams, not much results so far. You can tell Lesnar's got super powerful slams. They're super, super powerful. I think this guy might have been lying to me. If I'm honest with you. I think this guy might have been lying to me. I'm going to beat his head up like this. I right, dropped him with that one. So his head is certified weak. And still, nothing's happening. And I mean, when you get the double leg, you are fully dropping them on their head. I mean, fully dropping them on their head. Like, if you just watch here, look, I mean, you are dropping them on their head. It, it, it's seriously brutal. And one body shot completely just obliterated him. I don't know if it's possible. I genuinely don't know if it's possible. I, I genuinely don't know. I genuinely don't know if this is possible or not. Still. But anyways, guys. Uh, it's Brocktober. I thought I'd play as Brock Lesnar for this challenge. Uh, someone said it was possible. And, I mean, I was dropping him with a stray, and he still wasn't being knocked out from the slam. The slam seems to do nothing to the head, either of the slams, single leg or double leg. It might have to be the suplex. I don't know. Uh, it would be a bit silly if it has to be a specific slam to get a specific slam knockout. You should just... The slam should just do it regardless. I mean, if you slam someone like that and they break their... If someone slammed me like that, I think my whole body would just cave in on itself, and that would be it. I think I'd just die. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to what to say about that, but um, yeah, if you guys have done this and you've got it recorded, let me know. Send me the video on uh, Instagram or Twitter, and I will be sure to react to it and give you guys a shout out. Uh, I still don't know if it's possible. It's definitely not possible from a, a body damage double leg or single leg, which is super disappointing. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm sure you guys will see more Brock, uh, Brock Lesnar. Uh, coming up soon because I'll probably do a couple of videos on uh, you know some UFC online daily fights things so I'll probably play as Brock a bit but yeah thanks for watching guys and I'll uh, catch you in the next one peace